NASA and Elon Musk have recently made news for defying the laws of physics with their latest creation. If you would like to know more about this latest collaborative effort between NASA and the technology mogul Elon Musk, watch this video until the end. Recently, NASA and Elon Musk have embarked on an impossible mission of creating an engine that defies physics laws by moving at 99% the speed of light without using any propellant. With this project, many possibilities will open in technology, particularly space travel. Can we use these types of engines to go into space? What will they use as propellants? Before we go on with answering those questions in this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to be notified every time we have an update for you. things travel in space has become one of the most significant hurdles to humanity's attempts to reach the ultimate alien destinations, especially after discovering that what we see as stars on our planet might be the sun with possibly their solar systems. This discovery, of course, takes the perception of the universe to a whole new level higher than the discovery of other planets in our solar system could have done. It has also led to curiosities that could not be assuaged because of a major factor, distance as even the closest star is more than 40 light years away, which is more than 1 million human years. Attempts have been made to overcome the challenge posed by the distance by missions such as NASA's Juno mission, considered to be the fastest human-built spacecraft as it traveled a distance of 74 kilometers per second. However, this phenomenal breakthrough is inadequate as it will take more than 4,000 years, which is about 40 generations of humanity, to reach the nearest star using the Juno spacecraft. That is a daunting prospect for anyone who would want to tag along for such a journey. However, this has not been able to quench the human thirst for knowing and conquering everything in existence. More attempts have been and are still being made to tackle the distance barrier, especially by increasing the speed of space vehicles. Lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. One of such efforts is the latest project by NASA and Elon Musk, whose private space flight business, SpaceX, was founded to make it possible for life to exist on different planets and maybe even solar systems, as Elon believes this can eventually help in saving humanity when the Earth expires, which is an occurrence environmentalists have been foreseeing with alarming frequency. Elon stated in 2016 that humanity now has two options either to remain on Earth and ultimately become extinct, or to become a space civilization and multi-planetary species. He is a believer in the second option, which is why he has had so many projects on making interplanetary travel feasible, such as the Mars Settlement Project, as well as the EM Drive, a concept for a thruster for spacecraft with no need for propellants, thus violating the physics law of motion and momentum conservation he recently embarked on with NASA. The new light speed engine has been a fantasy of many scientists and engineers for so long, but it is becoming a reality thanks to Elon Musk's determination and genius. By the law of physics, nothing can travel faster than light. So, for many centuries, not one object has been able to travel faster than the speed of light in a vacuum, initially calculated to be 299,792 kilometers per second. However, the calculation of the distance of light was improved upon by Hippolyte Fizeau, a French physicist, when he calculated the speed of light using a moving cogwheel and a mirror. In the experiment, the cogwheel has teeth through which the light is to pass. After his experiment, he calculated the speed of the light to be 315,000 kilometers per second, which is within the top 5% of our most recent laser data. The experiment is based on the rationale that the quicker anything moves, the more enormous it becomes and the slower time becomes until that thing can move at the speed of light, at which point time ceases to exist. This theory led to Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, which has been used to explain the role of light in the distance that by attaching a form of light to an object as light as a finite speed, the light attached to the object can affect the overall speed of the object. According to him, the motion of an item must cause the time to slow down in some way. However, more recent research on speed by Eric Linz, a physicist from Germany, believes that waves have a faster velocity than light. He believes that a speed faster than that of light can be achieved through a new class of hyperfast solitons, a wave that keeps its shape and energy while flowing at a constant speed. 
These solitons can exist in general relativity and source from positive energy densities, and the configuration of these solitons can act as warp bubbles that allow an item to travel through space-time and at the same time protect it from tremendous tidal forces if they have enough energy. For an object or spacecraft of a 100 meter radius to travel at light speed by his theory, the energy required is 100 times the mass of Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system, which is a lot of energy. Other researchers have also started to think of alternatives to Lin's proposition to travel at the speed of light, and the most thought out so far is the helical engine, another reactionless drive like the EM drive proposed by David Burns, a NASA engineer, who claims he has designed an engine capable of moving at 99% the speed of light without the use of an eternal propellant of any kind. Theoretically, the engine works by using how mass changes at relativistic speeds, and his research is in the NASA Technical Report server with the title Helical Engine. Unsurprisingly, his study has generated interest, especially as this type of engine can break the laws of physics, such as the concept of momentum conservation, which states that a system's momentum remains in the absence of external pressure. According to Burns' depiction of his theory in which he uses an object wiggling in a box, he claims that after constant bouncing in the box, an increase of the mass of the object in a certain direction will give it a push in that direction at a phenomenal speed despite the absence of external external pressure. The helical engine accelerates ions confined in a loop-like box to moderately relativistic speeds and then varies their velocity to make slight changes to the mass. The engine then moves the ions back and forth along the direction of the travel to produce a thrust in the direction it is to go. In his abstract, Burns wrote that the engine has no moving parts or propellant but has ions traveling in a vacuum in an electric and magnetic loop. The spiral chambers of the ions spacecraft will have to be huge, about 200 meters long and 12 meters in diameter, and generate about 165 megawatts of electricity in its loop to produce one newton of the thrust of force. The energy needed for even the slightest thrust is almost equivalent to a power station, which makes the helical engine inefficient. Burns, however, claims this inefficiency might not affect the craft in space, though his claim is yet to be tested. Despite all these setbacks, NASA and Elon Musk keep on working on several projects that can achieve the speed of light travel, and it doesn't appear like they will quit anytime soon. So, it might be time for you to gather your memorabilia, as it seems opportunities to relocate will happen soon. Thank you for watching to the end, and make sure to comment on what you think of the possibility of travel in space-time, and what you would like us to talk about in the next episode.